let's integrate 10 of x or 10x dx. Okay, now you don't have a formula for integration of 10x. Okay, so yeah, we're going to write this as this is equal to integration of sine x over cos x. This is 10 is sine over cos x dx. And now I'm going to do a substitution. So I'm going to say let u is equal to cos x. U is equal to cos x. So du by dx is equal to negative sine x. Okay, so I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 1. So this implies negative du and multiply both sides by dx so you can understand minus du is sine x dx so this whole numerator changes to this whole thing sine x dx can be replaced by minus du and this cos x can be replaced by u so this becomes integration of minus du over u that is same as writing integration of 1 over u. I'll put the minus out du. This is minus natural log of u plus c. Okay, so this is equal to minus natural log of cos x plus c. So we need to check our answer. So this is your uh, integration of tan x integration of tan x dx is natural log of minus natural log of cos x plus c. So to check our answer, let's differentiate the function because whenever you're integrating a function, integrating uh, something, that something is a gradient function. So this is your f dash x. Integration is the opposite of differentiation. So this is f dash x. So this should be f of x. So what we're saying is if you differentiate this, you should get this back. So d by dx of minus natural log of cos x plus c, which will be equal to the, this differentiates to zero. I'll put a minus times different. So minus, this will be minus differentiation of natural log is one over x. So this is 1 over cos x. And then you have to differentiate cos. If you differentiate cos, what would you get? Differentiation of cos x is minus sine x. Okay, plus 0 if you want to write. So this is nothing but this negative and negative will become positive. So this is sine x over cos x, which is your tan x. So our integration was right. Okay, moving on, I'll do one more question. This is integration of x squared plus 1 over x squared. Now, yeah, we don't need any substitution. We can write this as integration of x squared over x squared plus 1 over x squared dx. I've just distributed this x squared to both x squared and 1. So this is integration of 1 plus x to the power minus 2 dx. This is integration of 1 x to the power 0 plus x to the power negative 2 dx. So integration of this would be x plus an in integration you add the power by 1 increase the power by 1, negative, and divide by the same power, plus c, the constant of integration. So your final answer is x minus 1 over x plus c. Okay, so this is your integration of x squared plus 1 over x squared dx. So let's check by uh, differentiating this. So d by dx of x minus uh, x minus 1 over x plus c. Okay, so this is 
this is 1 minus, uh, this would become 1 minus, uh, so this would become, so let me write like this, so this is d by dx, okay, so this is, this is equal to d by dx of x minus x to the power minus 1 plus c. So this is derivation of x is 1 minus, you had to put, drop the power down, so this is minus 1 x to the power minus 2. Okay, so this is 1 plus 1 over x squared. And the differentiation of this is 0, so which is this 1 can be written as x squared over x squared plus 1 over x squared, which is nothing but x squared plus 1 over x squared. So integration was right, so you can give yourself 5 stars. Okay, I will come back with the next video. I wanted to look at this question 6 and question 7.